Dancing in the Moonlight by Top Loader is played in standard tuning with no capo. We're going to be looking at the synth part that plays like the main riff in the song as an arrangement for guitar here and then also the chords that are actually played on guitar as well. So we're going to start off this song with an A flat major 7 chord but it's not your typical A flat major 7 chord voicing. We're going to have 6th fret on the D, 5th fret on the G, 4th fret on the B and 3rd fret on the high E. I'm going to pick D, G, B, E then all four strings at the same time. So the right hand's playing thumb, index, middle, third, and then picking all of the strings at the same time with all four of those fingers. We're then gonna play the top part of a B flat major chord. Just like a B flat bar chord really, but we're just playing from the D string down. So we've got eight fret of the D, third finger, seven fret of the G, the second, and then the first finger back across the sixth fret with the first finger on the B and E strings. Play the whole chord together. Then got a little rake, but we're going to add the pinky finger to the 8th fret of the B string as well. We're going to play D, G, B, E, B. Okay, so slowly the whole thing, that A flat chord picked, whole chord picked, B flat top, little rake, D, G, B, E, B. We're then going to move to an E flat chord familiar with the cage system you already know this chord it's based around a C shape just moved up three frets and re-fingered so we have the sixth fret on the A string with the pinky fifth fret on the D with the third third fret on the G with the first and fourth fret on the B string with the second finger there we're gonna play the whole chord then strum up down so up, up down from the E flat chord we're then gonna move the bass down one note to the D and also the melody up to the F. So we've got the third finger on the fifth fret of the A and the pinky finger on the sixth fret of the B string. This first finger is still on the G at the third fret. We don't need the open D because it's the same note as we've got on the fifth fret of the A string, but you can add it in if you want. Again, the strumming is up, up, down. We've got the E flat chord, move the bass down and the melody up, and we go to a straight up C minor chord. Then we've got a strum up, up, down, then up, second finger off there hammering back onto the fourth fret of the B and then up down so the whole thing is A flat picked whole chord B flat rake E flat bass down melody up C minor that's the whole riff So the actual chord progression in the song is much simpler to play. It's actually just an F power chord, 8th fret of the A, 10th fret of the D, 10th fret of the G. We're going to play down, down, up, and on the 4, and we'll move to a B flat chord, up, down, up. Okay, so F, down, down, up, B flat, up, down, up. Then on the 4 and again, we'll move to an E flat, up, up, down, drop the bass down to the 5th fret, up, up, down, move straight to a C minor chord, up, up down, hammer on, up, down. Okay, so F, down, down, up, B flat, up, down, up, E flat, up, up, down, bass, C, hammer on. And the whole thing, F, B flat, E flat, bass, C. grab a free PDF tab that I made for this song from my website, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching this one, good luck, happy practicing and take care.